Hello, this is Peter, Small Man King Homestead. Today's Monday. It was in the 20s today, and we got a little bit more snow. We're supposed to get a few inches over the next couple days, but there's nothing serious in the forecast. We are supposed to start getting some January weather, but there's not supposed to be any extremes. No extreme amounts of snow or no extremely low temperatures. Just a little bit colder and snowier than what we've had. But it's been above average temperatures and way below average snowfall. So I guess I can't go on forever. As you can see from this first clip here, Earl didn't want to come out today. The hens seem to come out better in the snow than Earl does. Earl will be happy staying right inside. But he did eventually come out, as you'll see in this clip. I just stood there and filmed them until they all came out. It was quite a while before they all did end up coming out. Earl does like to be out with the hens, so once they started going out, he didn't have much choice but to go out himself. I thought it was kind of funny watching them today. I hope you enjoy it. I took it kind of easy today. After riding my bike to the store yesterday, I didn't want to push it too much today. I'm not really in too bad a shape today, but I was feeling it a little bit. So that's why I decided it'd be best to take it easy today. I have physical therapy tomorrow morning, so so I'll get a workout tomorrow. I'm anxious for the pins to start laying. One of my buffalo orphan tents, I think it was Lucy, laid those three eggs a couple weeks ago and hasn't laid since. But I'm hoping that, that they start laying soon because I want to get some eggs incubated. I wish I had more chickens right now with the way the price of eggs is going up. I've heard that the price of chicks is going to skyrocket this year. I checked the hatchery that I bought my previous chicks at, and they still have their prices that they set in November, I think it was, for 2023. But I did notice that they are now offering hatching eggs, which they didn't do in the past. And they're asking, $63 a dozen for hatching eggs. I don't know why they are so high and else the price of chicks is going to skyrocket and they're just getting the price of their eggs up there now. Because the pullets that I would get if I was going to get any chicks from them, one breed is $4.21 for the pullets, straight run would be a little less, but I would go with pullets. And the other breed is 446. So if you get 12 pullets, that's a lot less than a dozen eggs would be. And as I'm sure everyone knows, you're not going to get 100% hack rate. And then statistically, half of them are going to be male and half female. So I'm just not understanding why they're getting so much for the hatching eggs. And else that is true about how high the price of chicks is going to go. And they just haven't raised the price of their chicks because they already had their price for this year set. But we'll have to see how things work out there. Because I may try to get a few more chicks so I can get them before the price gets so high because I do want to have some some purebred when I start selling them I would rather use the mixed breed if I'm going to sell some eggs and then have I'm thinking Bard Rock and Buff Orpington is what I would like to raise to sell as chicks. So we'll just have to see how things work out with that. 
Over the past few days, I have added a few items to my Walmart list and my Amazon list. If anyone's interested in checking those lists out, I'll let you finish watching the video now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Please like my video and please continue watching. That's it for today. I'll see everyone tomorrow. Have a good one.